Now I'm spraying the window boards with this Railings Grey, Fire and Ball Railings Grey, the PU paint. I don't, I don't have any grey primer, so I'm going to use this green. And I've just put it in this, it's an ANI Super. It's got 2.5mm nozzle, I'm going to pile it on. Uh, that's the first coat on there. It's still quite smooth. I'm gonna go over to it at 120. Just get it smooth again. And the face, I'll just go over, give it a light rub. Just get rid of any little bits that might be on it. And this edge, a little piece of 320 here, I'll just gently rub that along there. Got to be careful on the edges, it's easy to take the paint off again. Blow it off, give it another coat. I use a brush because it helps to release the muck. Just blowing sometimes, don't blow it all off. Now that's quite a nice finish on there to say it's just primer. I'll turn them over, do the other side. And that's just two coats of primer on there. The phone will pick it up. See, there's still some rough bits. But I'll sand them smooth because I've got to do the face now. Right, the phone or the PC, one or the other, destroyed about 30 clips that I made of when I initially fitted this in the house. But pretty much all I did was cut out the ends to fit in the window. I got them cut to size by the warehouse people, by the suppliers. And all I did, like I say, is cut them, cut them to length, and then chopped out a bit here. But I'll give these a just a little brush off and a bit of a sand where where some of the paints dribbled over, and get some more primer on these sides. I want this face sticking out on the rack, so I'm going to have to do it this way, I think, because these are 2.6 meters long. They're too too long to be spinning around in here. But it doesn't matter. I've only got these two to spray. So I've sanded that with 320 again. I've taken off a little bit of paint here, but I was concentrate when I was spraying this side. I was concentrating on this and spraying down, so it's probably a bit thinner anyway. But that's smooth. The next coats will finish it off. And you want the primer to be as good as the top coat, so any imperfections that you leave in the primer will show in the top coat. The top coat you really you don't really want to be sanding or filling anything. Right, these have had two coats on each side. The first couple of coats are sanded with 120. And then went to the 320 on the edges there. And I think they're blemish free, so I'm ready now to put the top coat on. 
Normally I would spray one side then flip it over and spray the other side But I ain't got the time on these. I've got to fit them tomorrow so It's just dust So what I've done put a couple of clamps So when I put these on the shelf They'll only go so far back Because what I'm gonna do is spray I'm gonna lay them on here and spray under here, spray the face, then spray the top. There's going to be a bit of overlap on the spray and it could run on the front. So I'm just going to give it a thin coat, try not to put too much on. So I'll probably end up putting a few coats on. I don't know how many, three. We'll see. I've got to get them done today, so I'll probably put the last coat on before I go to bed. What number that is, I don't know. But I'll give them a wipe, get some paint on. So the same thing, two at one. I'm going to use the Devibliss FLG, it's just got a 1.8mm nozzle in it. I've got this precariously balanced over like that. Bit of dust on it. Now they've just had one coat of top coat on. I've just sanded this one just a little bit. You see these little white things? That's where there was little specks of dust. I'll do this one. While it was on the rack here, I sprayed two coats underneath. That's enough for me. It feels quite smooth actually, quite nice. So these will get covered. There'll only be that bit showing. So as I look 
look over it, see a few tiny little little dust grains. There's a little pit there for somewhere. <coughs> What I'm doing is going over with a razor any little bits like that Just scrape them off and that you don't want to make a dip so I try and do it evenly all around See it's going. I'll do it a little bit more. Sometimes it's easier if you can bend it. Two hands is easier. Like a scraper. Without putting dents in it. It's nearly gone that. And once I've gone all over, sanded it. I'll wipe it down with a damp rag. I'm going to give it a sand with 320 and hopefully that will be the last time I sand it. I'll just blow this bit. <laughs> almost see the sort of orange peel that you get from this paint So they've got about three coats on this side, two on that side, or on the front anyway. Quite nice. Right, I'm going to take them up to the house.
right, computer destroyed the files from when I fitted this. But the window boards are 25 mil thick and they've got to come above here. So what I'm doing is putting a piece of piece of ply on there, screwed and glued to underside at window boards. And I might put a bit of glue in there as well. And they're coming out to about here. And as always, all these bricks are loose. If I was to drill down into them, I'd just loosen them more. It's always the case. So I'm just gonna pack it up level, stick it down with glue, stick it down with firm. Another day, I put a packer in there and a piece and I trimmed them back. This is where the old window boards were. And I just trimmed it back a little bit. So hopefully mine should just slot in because they've already been fitted once. And these windows, the triple glazing, and they've been rejected because the paint inside has got like little marks on it. And this one over here, it's got little pinhole bubbles in it. So these are getting changed. Somebody's losing some money there. Anyway, get these in. I'm going to put a bit of glue in here. This is plastic, but because it's all stuck down, I want to try and stick it in place. Right, the idea of these timbers is I picked the straightest I could out of the pack but the idea is I can pack that up now I might get my level just see how straight it is but this is 2.6 my levels only 1800 so I might just sight it through but the idea is I can pack it up now foam it put some weight on top of these I'm gonna put another one behind put some weight on top of it then as the foams going off it doesn't push the board up. Oh, yeah. 
kids go. <laughs> yeah. right, I'm going to leave that till tomorrow. Put some masking tape on this edge just to stop the phone sticking to it. This paint is acetone resistant, I believe. I've never tested it, so I don't want to get foam all over this edge. If you're doing any foaming at home, buy one of these guns. Once you've locked it off, it'll last quite a long time. Sometimes it's in my van for a month or two before I use it again. And get a tin of cleaner, just give it a squirt out. This fits on top and it's also got a little nozzle. So you can squirt some through the gun. I'll come back to these tomorrow. Take all this off, take the masking tape off. And that's it for me. Somebody's coming back to patch up around the windows. The window people are gonna silicone this gap. Blah. I guess there's other ways of fixing these down screw through but like I say you just loosen the bricks when you drill it could put some straps down the wall and find some decent fixings but I'd have to destroy the plaster and don't know that'll do though not gonna go anywhere